Okay, back again with another not live stream. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try again to. Um, I was trying to uh, to combine these two files of wave audio and video that was made with the VLC script that uh, recorded with VLC in the terminal window. And uh, it's supposed to automatically turn them into, well, it asks you, and then you hit enter. But uh, it never gets that far. When you hit control C to <coughs> cancel, the, uh, cancel the recording or to close the application making the recording, I guess is what it would say, it just uh, it, it puts some more readout, and then it just hangs up. So um, I saw it do it once. Uh, but then I typed in yes and hit enter, and what I found out later, you're supposed to just hit enter because I watched a video on it. <coughs> and uh, so anyway, um, it's kind of kind of figured anyway after it didn't work. But anyway, it hung up uh, either way. So uh, I've been able to all the previous videos uh, that you know recorded successfully. Uh, I was able to uh, combine them with VLC still by uh, using it using it in the GUI. VLC, well, I mean, using VLC, well, that was using VLC to do it in the terminal is what it was doing. But you go here to media, convert and save, oh, file is what I want, so actually it's going to be two files, so I'm going to get the MP4, that other MP4 was the one I'm, uh, recording I made in the GUI, but I didn't get any audio, uh, there doesn't seem to be a way to get audio in the GUI, if there is, I didn't, never have seen it. And then you click on show more options, and then you click on play another media synchronously, synchron together with it, uh, extra audio file, for example. And that's exactly what it's not going to be an extra audio file, it's going to be the audio file. And since they were recorded at the same time, hit select, uh, then you know it'll be all, all uh, sync, it'll be synced together and everything. All right, now convert and save. And uh, I want H264 H with MP3. And uh, <clears throat> then I have to put in my destination file. And I just want to change this to um, first save so I know what it is. Dot MP4. Hit enter. Now let's see if it works. What is it? Well, let's just see if it works. No, it's still doing that. Okay, there may be something wrong with that uh, MP4 all I can figure. Uh, what it's doing, it'll go ahead and see, that's what it should be doing, except for you don't normally get that error. Uh, it says, could not open the H.264 encoder. And I thought, well, maybe it's because I was running VLS, uh, OBS media, you know, OBS recorder. Uh, but I closed OBS and tried it, and it didn't work. Then I thought, well, okay, it's hung up because I ran that script, and it didn't work right. And that, and I rebooted, and, it, and I went ahead and tried it in OBS because I remember that it did work. Maybe it'll work in OBS, but now I don't care. It's not worth messing with that much. Um, all it'll be is just the audio. I've seen this. Oh, hey, Don here. Okay, trying out. So I, I've done this. That's the third time I've done it now. So I'm tired of playing with it. I'm not going to really be using it because it does, the script doesn't work right anyway. And that was the one I did. Uh, I did the video. Oh, and the oh, I will say this: um, the video. I figured something out. I'll show it. Okay, now this is just be quite silent. But see, I clicked on the terminal window. When when it starts up, you have you, you're supposed to click where you want the window you want to record in. What I should have done, I did, every other time I clicked in the, um, in the uh, Crusader window, which is a larger window. It's the full size of the, uh, I guess I could have clicked up here. That might be the thing to do. Uh, that might tell it to get the whole desktop. But anyway, it, it, at any rate, I'll click around through the video. It did follow me. See, I'm in Crusader now, but it's narrow, just the same size as the uh, terminal window was. And that's, you see, that cuts off part of the script there when I opened the script file. And at some point here, I got into uh, to different uh, workspaces. Yeah, now I'm in the web browser, but it's got a narrow window. 
So it's kind of odd how it, how that works. So it picked that size is what it did, and it does follow me around the desktop, which is what I was wondering is if it would do that. It does. Uh, but uh, all my other recordings didn't do that. They were I didn't even go out of that window because I didn't think it would work. But they uh, when I was using this script, but they but they were full width, you know. <clears throat> so uh, and then this one works just fine, I think. Let's see if it follows you around the screen yeah it, it does I thought it did at least I think it does yeah there we go um, it's changing right before I click but uh, yeah see it follows me all around but there's no audio it doesn't record audio so you know VLC uses too many resources anyway so uh, to be using it <coughs> I've gotten uh, OBS. It was using staying around 23 to 30 percent. Now it's 12 percent to maybe 13, 15 or so. Uh, using I changed to using FFmpeg. I'm, I'm, I'm still using making FLV files. So those you use less resources than MP4s by by a lot. But I have noticed when I switch in in my recordings. Let's see if it happens. I go to my camera. It gets square pixels when it's switching so let's see if it does it now it might have just been at that certain time I didn't see it every time I switched but uh, I, was, I was in the desktop I think I hope so <laughs> I get confused and forget where I'm at sometimes uh, if I wasn't sorry I am now <clears throat> I, I'm, I could watch the video you can with FLVs, you can watch the video while you're recording it, but when you get to the point where you're at, it will stop. It, sometimes it'll break the video you're making, so I'm not going to do that. I think you can, well, I'm not sure if you can do it with MP4s, but anyway, um, that's not what I need to do. What I need to do is fix OBS Studio if I can. Oh, and I just remember I can't make my recording in OBS Studio. Uh, I will have to use Simple Screen Recorder to show that. So what I'm going to do now is quit, quit playing with those F, uh, PLC scripts and uh, do what I really want need to be doing. And what I want to really want to be doing, I just got sidetracked with those because uh, <clears throat> I found them on accident looking for alternate uh, desktop recorders. Um, <clears throat> so I uninstalled, let's see, let's go into my, yeah, there's config, it's on the top. Uh, okay, now OBS Studio, when I uninstalled and reinstalled OBS Studio last time hoping it would fix it, it did not, I didn't pay attention, I thought it was going to delete everything to do with it, but it didn't, it left these behind. So that's what I need to do is back those up and so let's get in there. Let's see. Now I don't want to back them up while I'm running. I want to close OBS, so I'll do that in the next. I back those up before. Oh, in documents, <coughs> because I already had an OBS folder for profiles, and so I yeah right there. So I'll do that when I come back. <coughs> okay, so we'll stop here and come back with the other recorder. And I guess I'll look and see, make sure that that recording, uh, not that I didn't, I was in the desktop when I thought I was too. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Mm -hmm. 